Mega Man celebrated his 10th anniversary over the summer with the release of Mega Man 8. The character in Mega Man X4 is not the same blue robot who stars in Mega Man 1 through 8, but who gives a hoot? They look and act so similar that everyone just acts as if they're one and the same. The X series has some intangible quality that sets it apart from the other Mega Man games. We like the regular series better, but Mega Man X4 is by no means a bad game. It's not great either. The control feels a little stiff, especially when jumping. Also, you can't slide forward anymore. This move has always been a staple for Mega Man. Other than this omission, the game plays just like the rest of the series. Side-scrolling shoot-em-up action with a boss at the end of each level. Of course, defeating the boss will net you that boss's weapon, which you can use on another boss. The trick is to find out which bosses are vulnerable to which weapons. This is harder than usual, but not impossible. The challenge level is just right. The game's control gets a C, gameplay or game design gets a B, and challenge gets a well-deserved A. Unique to Mega Man X4 is that you can choose to play as Mega Man X or his red cyber cousin Zero. If you choose Zero, the first level will be changed slightly, and the first movie scene in the game will be altered to focus on Zero. These scenes introduce the same old tired villain that we've seen in previous games. The bottom line on X4 is that it's, well, just another Mega Man game.